what's your favorite energy drink brand then? And don't lie. Don't lie to me. I'll see that. Red Bull. Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. sure. I think I'll probably be shot if I said it's something else. You should, should be. <laughs> Puh, der hat Gitarrist Sid aber gerade noch mal Glück gehabt, dass er nichts Falsches gesagt hat. Sonst wäre er dem Plattenvertrag wohl gleich wieder losgeworden. Im folgenden Video offenbart er die größte Lüge der Bandgeschichte und berichtet vom harten Leben auf Tour inklusive aufgebrochenem Van. First of all, the name, Heaven's Basement. What did you aim at? Is it Earth or is it Hell? It's neither. Neither? Yeah. Well, basically, when the band first started, we, we were jamming in a, like an a, a underground house. I was actually trying to name the room that we first started in and I came out of Heaven's Basement and it, uh, you know, spoke to us in different ways. It just kind of stuck, really. But you didn't spend too much time in the basement because um, even before you released your first EP, you already opened for, uh, I think it was Bon Jovi? Yeah. At uh, the Manchester City Stadium. Yeah. How did that come to ha happen? Um, that was our seventh ever gig we ever did. And we, that, we only got that because we lied and we said we were from Manchester. Because <laughs> like, they were doing this thing where a radio station got to The listeners of a radio station got to pick their favorite band and they would play with them. And we got picked, but we weren't from Manchester, so we just lied. And you, you just signed with uh, Red Bull Records. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite energy drink brand then? And don't <laughs> lie, don't lie to me, I'll no, see that. I don't drink energy drinks, full stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who they are, they're horrible. Do you know what, it really does, it is, it is helpful, because when you're touring, you just don't sleep at all. So it, it does have its perks, do you know what I mean? And what's your favorite? Red Bull. Red Bull, yeah? yeah, sure. I think I'll probably be shot if I said it's something else. You should, should be. <laughs> Even though it seems that you guys did achieve a lot in four years' history, you seem to be pursued by misfortune when you're touring. <laughs> so uh, there was an incident yesterday, I think. In the, yeah, Somebody broke into your van. We literally parked behind Seether's bus, and uh, Alex came upstairs, and he has our life. I mean, a lot of the time he says stuff, and then we'll sort of get downstairs, and he'll be like, oh, it was just because you did this, the other, the other rest, and sort of thing. And um, it wasn't this time, he wasn't joking. Uh, the, the first window on our Mercedes Sprinter had just been standing knifed and I have to just pushed through. And this guy had got into our van, rummaged through everything, had a look at what he liked. Idiot, because there was thousands of pounds worth of stuff, you know, just like clothes and, you know. Equipment. Just, yeah. And he took a, f a DVD player. He took the DVD player. <laughs> Why? He, like, he left like, the, like guitar stuff and like, he goes, but it was a good job though, I was impressed. Because our van's been broken into a lot of times. This was the neatest job. Yeah. So, it's a very stupid professional. Yeah, he was, he was, he was, I think he was blinded by his profession. Good thieves in Hamburg, like, much better than English ones. English ones just smash it and it's like, and then you've got glass everywhere and it's just a nightmare. Despite all, all the robberies and all, all the accidents, what, what's great about touring? <laughs> What's the greatest thing about All touring for you things. guys? <laughs> yeah, those, 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 things are, you, those things are a big part of what makes it good. Yeah. Because it, although they're a drag and they can be, you know, make it hard, they are ultimately what you look back on that helps strengthen a band. Because if we just had it too easy and we just got off and we walked onto a big bus and we never had any issues in the world, we'd be a lame band. Working hard and getting your teeth kicked in every few days really toughens a band up to mean that we can just do this forever. Playing live is what keeps us alive because when you get to a venue, you can maybe try and blag some food and you maybe get a case of beers and that's pretty much what you live off. <laughs> so as soon as we stop touring, that's when we're in trouble. Falls euch dieses Video gefallen hat, wir haben noch mehr davon. Jeden Dienstag und Freitag ab jeweils 15 Uhr gehen sie online. Oh, diese Energy Drinks. Außerdem wüssten wir gerne von euch, was war eure größte Lüge? Wurdet ihr auch schon mal bestohlen? Und natürlich, was ist euer liebster Energy Drink? Falls ihr das Debütalbum von Heaven's Basement haben wollt, das gibt es natürlich bei EMP. Klickt einfach auf den Link unten in der Beschreibung. Bis zum nächsten Mal, sagen Jan und Markus.